Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 19 of season 2 of Fire Force. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, hold on, in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, Maki. She looks so, I mean, okay, well, Maki's, like, early 20s, I want to say. I mean, you know, we women, we don't tell her age, but she looks early 20s right there, and maybe she's in her mid in present day, possibly. I'm not 100% sure. Because the biggest thing is how many years has it been since she's left the military, so... I haven't answered that question. Mm. Come here, baby. Oh, well, you're already there. Hello. I can't believe we're almost done with this. I mean, it just feels like just yesterday we were on season one or really the first half of this show. And now we have by next week less than four episodes left before this show was over and the biggest thing is is this show going to get another 40 something episode series because I mean remember what I said a couple of weeks ago when I decided to continue this show um despite kind of dropping it and such but I don't know I mean I wanted to continue because I still love it and I, I feel like it's going to leave on some very unanswered questions. So it would be nice. I'm just saying. But I get it if they don't. I wonder if we're going to meet that one dude from that TikTok video I watched. He, he barely tell. Oh, okay. Hello, sir? Can I call you Dan for short? I mean, of course, do you see how tall he is? I mean, I'm like 5'11". I mean, he probably like 6'5". Ooh. You know, I mean, he probably supports Maki on that. Maybe so, like, you know, hey, kind of wish you did this. I think so. I mean, most guys do like some beefy girls. Um, it depends. But you look good. No homo. Oh. This is the part I saw on TikTok. <laughs> that I shared on Twitter. Oh, he's so... Oh my god. <laughs> Lucky that your little brother. Oh, okay. Like, we found a new husband, old people. He even tower over his damn daughter. But he's such a tiny <laughs> He's just a tiny bear. Oh my god, like He I mean, oh let me not <laughs> Oh 
Whoever voices him. Thank you. Don't know who you are. I probably do because your voice, but like, I need to know. Like, his eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, she got it. I mean, in the end, you'll be the one who's going to carry him. <laughs> oh, damn. Really? Oh, my God. <laughs> He's so cute. Her mom went from sweet to a damn humming. Hello? Your mama bad bitch. Of course she fine. I can't with his eyebrows. Please don't kill this man. I mean, Maki brother too damn fine to be killed. Please don't 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 do it. Don't do it. Mm. And what is in here exactly? Yeah, but let's not split up. Please don't kill him. Don't kill him, please. Okay. What? Oh. Is that a skull, though? Look like it. Yeah, that's a skull. Oh! Isn't that the thing to turn people into infernals? Like, like that? So then, would this be Joker's 
laboratory are victors? No. It could be um Giovanni. Uh, see, I said don't kill him. Come on, man. Don't leave him for one episode. Don't don't have an introduction and then kill this man like a couple minutes later. Come on, man. Don't. Do no. 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 Please get up. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Don't do this to me. Shit. You know how fine he is? Oh, fuck. But thank God. He, he still look good. Mm. Yeah, I kind of wish he... Like, it would have been better if there was maybe, like, a journal or something around, but nothing, now. <clears throat> Don't know now since it's destroyed. Unless there's got to be other labs like that, like anywhere else in the city. So then this has got to be the reason of why um, Maki's dad wants her to come back to the military. Not only for her protection and so that he can kind of keep a watchful eye over her, but I, God, I don't know. What really are they? An ass. <laughs> oh, I can't. <laughs> really, Maggie? <laughs> Me and Zombie and I was. a letter from Maki. Ouch. Shit. Mm-hmm. Talking about Maki wanting to come back. Well, number one, I think you should tell her and then let her decide on her own. I get that, but... And he just wants you to be protected. Yeah, I mean, you, you, your fine-ass brother could have just died a couple of minutes ago. I... <laughs> <laughs> 
no. You're gonna force her to go back, aren't you? Of course. Behina. Wouldn't it just be better for her to decide on her own? She technically had her answer. I miss her too. God. You look at them arms. Huh? She might not even come back though. Yeah. What well, damn, Arthur? But are they it's the truth? Possibly. Yeah. Then, okay, if none of you want to admit it and you really want Maki back, go down there and talk to her father and demand him to let her stay. She's happiest with you guys. We all freaking know that. I mean... We get that. But she can do this. She's bored. I would be too. You have nothing else to think about but just... Mm. Hey, Dad. Of course you are, but she's not. I, I know I wouldn't be. Exactly. I mean, you let her be free for how many years? And I get the fact that, you know, he seems a little overprotective, but I get it. <sighs> What? 
How could you say that? And you're, mm, let me not, let me not. Oh my God. Who? You know you don't belong here. That's not right. It really isn't. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, sorry. It's one o'clock in the morning and I am sleepy. Honda, what the fuck? Okay, so let's just talk about this. Number one, so Maki's brother is fine as fuck, and I hope we get to see him again before this damn show ends. I'm just saying. Two, like I said, I get the fact that Maki's dad is a very overprotective dad, and he wants to keep Maki in her cage to be safe, but I mean, he, he let go of her once. To let her follow her dream and, you know, become part of the fire, for fire force and for um, being with the eighth and everything. But the fact that, you know, her brother was almost killed, of course, put like a, not, a, not a fire under Maki's dad's, but more of a, he was terrified because if his son almost died and he put in his mind putting his daughter instead of his son in that situation, then of course, yeah, he has all that, the right to freak out because any parent would be that way. But still, he is a little too overprotective. I get it because we've all kind of had overprotective moments with our parents and spe uh, especially if, you know, you yourself also, you probably had ki have kids currently right now. I mean, I have a dog and I'm very kind of, I'm overprotective with him. I don't want him to get hurt or anything. So I kind of know how that feels. But sometimes the, you have to do the right thing and let them go and follow their dreams. But... And I can't believe I'm going to say this. I feel like this next mission from episodes 20 to 24, I believe, um, it's not going to be a, a successful mission as I want it to be because Maki isn't there. This is their first mission without Maki and this could honestly really go to hell. It could go to shit possibly. I don't really know. But something tells me we're going to get another episode with Maki and her father 
and her maybe because in a way I kind of want Maki to tell her dad off a little bit but at the same not in a not in a bad way more in a good way saying you know I don't need to be protect, uh, overprotected or anything. I can do it on my own. She's very uh, a smart, independent girl. She's always, you know, been able to protect herself ever since we have all started this series. And we know how powerful she is. But I get the fact that, like, there could be one moment throughout however long this manga series is as of right now that, you know, yeah, Maki possibly has gotten seriously hurt don't know but it could be it could have happened and so I I don't know I mean it's a god it's a damned if you do damned if you don't situation and I just want what's best for Maki at the end of the day because she's a really really she's like my second she she's in between because like okay I know Iris is my number one Maki is my second, and then Tamaki is my third of best girls. That's why I really wish that they would make a figure of both Iris and Maki. Because, I mean, they have the Tamaki figure, and I kind of want it. But I can't find it at a really, you know, low price under, like, 90 bucks. But I know Amazon has it, but I don't remember the price. But, I mean, Maki is just one of those girls who can handle herself. We've seen it before, and we've seen it, like, times and times again. So... I get the fact that, yes, her dad is overprotecting as hell. Any dad, mom, whoever will be overprotective of their children because they just want what's best for them. But sometimes you have to let that child go and let them experience, you know, getting hurt or whatever on their own, even though it's like, oh, hey, I want to protect my kid no matter what. But I feel like there's going to be a moment either between these last four episodes or leading into, no, really five because 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, yeah, five weeks, these last five weeks that we have with this show, there's possibly going to be a moment where her dad and her are going to have a conversation and he's going to sit down and he's going to really think about it and be like, okay, you go. And I hope that happens for her because she really, truly needs this because you can tell she's not happy. She's not happy being there. She just feels trapped. Once again, she kind of gives me like, um, Yukiko vibes from Persona 4 and how Yukiko, um, felt trapped and such like a bird in a cage, no matter what. And she was doing everything and every, anything to get out in her situation. I mean, Mm. she she's not my best girl because Risa is my best girl <laughs> still at the end of the day but I still liked her confidant social link no matter what but yeah I just I want the best for Maki because Maki deserves the best at the end of the day she's a very interesting character all the guys that I know are like hella in love with her because <laughs> it's just the arm the muscle kink that they all have an ish because I, I mean I, I like I like that but I like that on dudes that's my thing <laughs> at the end of the day but yeah I just want what's best for her and so I hope that her dad is able to see the good in her and that she can handle her own but we ain't gonna know until next week but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 19 of season 2 of fire force if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the magical squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday saturday for episode 20 bye guys